Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 46 of 100 days 100 concepts. Today in this video, I am going to explain you about strain hardening. So what is strain hardening? So previously when we are discussing about uh, the flow curve or you know the stress strain curve, we come across basically about the words like strain hardening and necking. So in this video, let's see what is strain hardening. So strain hardening actually means the increase in the stress required okay increase in the stress required for further plastic deformation due to the previous plastic deformation <laughs> i think this is looking like some tongue twister but no it's easy let me explain you so strain hardening means increase in the stress required for further plastic deformation that has to take place and why this is happening this increase in the stress is actually taking place because of the plastic deformation which is already done by the body that means let's take this particular curve stress strain curve okay so we know this curve will look something like this right so here you have some yield point somewhere here where you have 0 0.2 percentage offset correct 0 0.2 percentage strain offset and this is actually my yield strength so as you see after yielding the strain i mean for further strain to be produced the stress values is actually going on increasing until the uts so this is actually happening because of the previous plastic deformation which is already done so let's say somewhere here the plastic deformation is starting okay not starting remember already some amount of plastic deformation is already done in the body which is 0.2 percentage of the total deformation right so because of whatever plastic deformation that has taken place let's say in this particular region there will be some force that is opposing my slip that is opposing my plastic deformation so due to that opposing force we have to overcome it definitely in order to strain in order to deform the body to more extent so for that reason the stress values are increasing that is what is the statement explaining you increase in the stress required for further plastic deformation to take place due to already done previous plastic deformation this phenomena is basically called my strain hardening right now okay fine the, uh, until now i hope you understood what is strain hardening now why strain hardening why is this taking place so actually what happens here is let's say you have some barrier over here and we know let's let's take this to be my slip plane what is slip slip is nothing but dislocation movement correct dislocation if it is moving we say it slip and this slip is the basic phenomena required for plastic deformation correct so let's say my dislocations are moving on the slip plane in the applied direction so let's say this is the applied you no know, shear stress direction so as it is moving on moving let's say you have some uh, extended dislocation with you know large faulted region or some dislocation which cannot move let's say okay you have some dislocation pile up created over here that means dislocation pile up means that because of this barrier the movement of dislocation is no more easy this obstacle over here is actually hindering the motion that means it is creating some resistance for the dislocation motion so to overcome that you actually need to apply more stress that is obvious but why what is the you know basic principle behind it so basically on this interaction between dislocations okay one dislocation with other and as well as with the barrier there will be some amount of back stress generated okay there will be some amount of back stress generated okay so now if you carefully see if you let's say uh, there is tau applied on the already deformed material okay now 
if you apply the same stress now will it able to deform or not definitely no why because what is the net amount of stress applied on the body the net amount is tau minus sigma back stress correct so this is basically my opposing force so now you have to give more than the total stress so now what should be this value this should be tau plus sigma b so you have to increase your applied stress by some amount which is equal to the back stress generated that is when these two will get cancelled out and the net stress which is acting in the system will help for the dislocation motion correct if it is not you know uh, increase the stress value if it is not increased with the back stress then the effective stress will not be tau it is less than tau by this amount it is less by whatever back stress that is generated so for this purpose always remember you must keep in mind that if you are dealing with any material if there is any barrier produced or you know usually strain hardening dislocation will be uh, the obstacle itself right so in this particular case there will be back stresses generated so because of these back stresses the amount of stress that you have to put on the body has to be more than whatever you gave previously why we have to increase because the net stress level the net force that you are giving on to the body must be enough for plastic deformation okay so that is the reason why you see there is this increase of the stress values and this increase is because of the back stresses generated okay so this increase is due to the back stresses generated and that's why the applied stress should also be increased by the same amount then only the net stress will be there and your plastic deformation will be continuous okay so i hope you understood what is strain hardening okay so this is some basics why okay what is strain hardening and why strain hardening will take place so back stresses play an important role in this particular case okay so i hope you like this video please hit the like button if you like the video and also share it with all the great metallurgy aspirants so please do subscribe if you are watching our video for the first time and also we know that we are close to 4000 subscribers so pl please do hit it and you know make it 4000 subscribers thank you guys thanks for watching and also forgot to tell you please go through everythingmetallurgy.com for to get one of the most you know uh, affordable test series for gate metallurgy we are uploading you know we have increased our pace of uploading of course we took a uh, break in between but now we are back on track so all the tests will be given as promised with a little bit delay that's it but we will be covering it right so yeah that's it from my side also check out the website to you know uh, check out one of the best video course for gate metallurgy 2021 as well as 2022 Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept. Thank you.